Hi, it's Di from Refurbies and I'm going to give you a really quick demonstration on how I apply a transfer. It's a redesign with Prima transfer and I'm applying it to the front of a set of bedsides. So stay tuned and see how it's done. Thanks for watching. So starting with our transfer, this is a redesign from redesigned by Prima transfer and it is called, and I'm going to butcher this, but it is called La Vie et en Fleur. Sorry, I know that that's a horrible pronunciation, but anyway. First thing I do is I select the piece that I'm going to use and line it up where I want it to be and hold it down with some tape. Once that's secure, because these drawers have little like you know ridges and lips i'm going to just move the backing paper down just a little bit so i can get the transfer started and then i'll progress from there so i'm not sure if you can see that properly but i've moved it down just a little bit it's a little bit more and I, what i did was i moved it down to where the the first sort of step down starts and then I'm going to start rubbing the transfer on. Now these Prima transfers come with a little stick to, or a paddle to rub the transfer down, down with. So use that, it's very helpful. Once I've got that done, I'll move it down a little bit more. And I'm going down, a, this. once this is stepped down, it's a slight curve and then it cuts out to go to the next drawer so I'm gonna so difficult to explain I'm going to rub that down to the very edge of that first top drawer make sure it's all sticking down sort of push the I'm pushing the plastic and the transfer into the gap between the two drawers Just checking that the transfer has been transferred onto the drawer. When it's not on a nice flat even surface like this, you, you take your time, just do it little by little like I am here because I wanted to get it right. And there you see me just pushing it in between the two drawers like that, just so it sort of goes around the curve just slightly. So pushing it into that gap and then I'm going to, when it's where I want it to be and I've got the bulk of it stuck down to the just the curve of that edge of the drawer, I'm going to cut the transfer with a Stanley knife um, and I'm going to do this to make it a little bit easier on myself. Just cut it all the way like this is where I'm cutting is where the two drawers meet the gap in the middle make sure you cut it all the way across though I didn't do that but I will like I, I go back and do it just so I can check that everything's in the right position again take your time there's no rush they are expensive, the transfers, so the, the more time you take with it, the less likely you are to mess it up. Good rule of thumb, though, first things first, when you take the transfer out, don't remove it from the backing paper at all because it will stick to itself, it'll stick to other things, and you will destroy it. I have done that multiple times. So I'm just working all this first piece off that I've cut and making sure it's all laid down on the, or transferred onto the drawer. And if anything's not transferred down, you just lay it back down again and, and keep rubbing until it's transferred. Okay, so that's that first part done and, and, and it's, I'm able to take the plastic away because I cut it. So I'll continue on with the bigger section here Take a bit more of the backing paper away.
work slowly. I go around I go around the little steps where the details of the transfer sort of go over the steps of the front of the drawer and I make sure they individually go follow those lines, follow those curves, those steps, whatever you want to call it. Again, taking my time and checking as I go. These are really easy to mess up, but they're also really easy to get right as long as you take your time. I know I've said that repeatedly, but just take your time. Because this is a larger section, I can remove a larger, you know, bit of the backing paper and just work it so it transfers to the drawer. Once I've done this larger section, I'll move down off that step off the front bit and work it around the curve and I'll do the same thing that I did up the top and push it into the gap between the two drawers so it sits so it adheres to the the curve of the drawer and I'll cut it again to make it a bit easier on myself so here you can see me just pushing it into that gap like I did up the top while I'm pushing it into the gap, I'm pushing the transfer onto the curved part so it transfers onto the draw front. And I'll cut it again all the way across this time. I didn't do that the first time. Again, if you were working on a large flat surface, you wouldn't need to be cutting like I'm cutting. I'm only cutting because it, it's an easier way for me to get it right. So I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and keep going at it until it's all transferred down. Once you've got the transfer all down and it's all the way you want it to be, grab a piece of the backing paper and screw it up into a ball and very carefully rub it over the transfer this is called burnishing i'm pretty sure that's the word burnishing which is kind of polishing and it just sort of the the paper the backing paper's got like a wax coating to it it just i don't know if the wax helps at all but it sort of it lays it down better and makes sure that it's all properly adhered to the surface so here you see me selecting another piece of this transfer that I, I wanted to put another piece down the bottom just to draw the eye down the bottom and the drawers for me would look more balanced that way. So all these transfers can be cut up into pieces. Use whatever piece you want, bit here, bit there, whatever you want. I'm choosing the wording down the bottom, which is, I can't remember, what is it, La Fleur or something like that. I don't know. I don't speak French. But this one will be a lot easier to put down because one, I'm putting it on a complete flat surface. What is it? La Amour. Um, so yeah, one, I'm putting it on a flat surface and two, it's only a small piece. So I'm taking the backing paper straight off, using my eyes to get it into the centre part that I want it in. And once I've got it exactly where I want it, I'll just literally plop it down and start rubbing the transfer to transfer it onto the draw front there we go no turning back now so now it's all down on my drawers exactly where i want it here's a quick look at what it looks like before we seal it i haven't got the drawer pulls on yet obviously I'll pop them on after I've sealed it. Now to seal it, I'm just going to use uh, just a, a top coat, a clear top coat. This one I'm using is Eggshell Top Coat by Purico. 
You could also use any sort of wax to seal it. Not hemp oil though. Do not use hemp oil to seal a transfer. You will completely destroy your transfer. So speaking from experience there, anyway. So just literally, just I'm just using a sponge just to wipe just one thin coat over the transfer. I'll do the entire drawer front so it's even though. <clears throat> and do this to all the drawers and then that's it. It'll Once that's dry, I can put the drawer knobs on and she's all finished. I forgot to mention it was only 20 minutes after applying the transfer that I applied the top coat. I'm not 100% sure if that's the recommended wait time. The wait time might be overnight. I haven't actually read the instructions. I've always done it this way and never had a problem. So I would say that it's fine to do it this way.